Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer, of course, watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, please only claim this energy in a helpful, positive manner for yourself. Now let's hit this. Clearing ground for Cancer, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors, for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of cancer. Cancer energy is fluid. I can be speaking about you as somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy, and let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah? Yeah, cancer. All planetary placements, please, and thank you. All right, listen. Six of Cups is when you're feeling very nostalgic, sentimental, or melancholy about people, places, and things from the past, or people, places, or things from the past are resurfacing, okay? Somebody can be sitting in the land of memories here, whether it's you or somebody else. Keep going. All right. We got a Two of Pentacles. Somebody needs to balance themselves out. Somebody here needs to be a little more resourceful and flexible. Maybe stretch their resources. It's about adaptability. Maybe you have um, some options that you need to weigh or make a choice. Somebody could be multitasking. Show me what's at the foundation of this situation, Cancer. All right. The foundation. Oh, look, you got love. A new opportunity for emotional contentment. This is an ace of cups. This is a new relationship, a new baby, some kind of new proposal, maybe some marriage, new spirituality, new love. All right, that's what, working on a new love. Crowning Cancer, please and thank you. Some kind of rebirth. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody that has that in the chart, but you have uh, somebody here that has a lot of integrity and dignity. Somebody here is very clear thinking and reasonable. They have maybe some kind of higher perspective on thing, it, things. It is the realm of the mind. This person might be very disciplined and maybe a little strict. Somebody's got a bird's eye view or something, and somebody knows how to articulate themselves very well. Something about swords. I'm seeing a red dress. Somebody lives in a tall apartment building, green and blue balloons. Here you go. Aries energy, the emperor, coming in, which you don't see. This could be a boss or a boss figure, but this is a leader. This is someone who's probably very rigid, but very strong, set in their own ways. Somebody has auburn hair. The fourth could be of significance. Somebody could be 42 or 62 here, or 26. I mean, take your pick. It's Aries energy for somebody who is very logical and practical and protective. It could be a father or father figure, but it doesn't have to be. It is the best attributes of all four kings rolled up into one. Some kind of a leader. The emperor. We like the emperor. Mature, authoritative person. Show me. How are you perceiving this? You're looking at this emperor like somebody's coming to tell you a truth. Something's being made very clear to you. It's the Ace of Swords. There's clarity in the situation. Some kind of new idea, perhaps. A breakthrough. Somebody's got the key to something here. Remember I said this person's got a bird's eye view? Yeah, so it's the facts. Some kind of facts. Somebody's coming to tell you some kind of truth. Ooh, you're going to get a truth, kids. Okay, so look. In your actual environment, it's a five of wands. Some kind of aggravation, bullshit, drama. Bet. People want to just start shit. It's a five of wands. Leo energy. It can be more than one person, but it's making a lot of conflict, okay? There's stress and hostility in your environment. Show me what's the best advice for our Cancerians, please, and thank you. Here you go. You have ten of wands. Well, listen, you're going to be burdened down with a lot of baggage and bullshit here. This is about over-obligating yourself to the point where you're on the struggle bus. So don't do that. You know, something may look very enticing or not as heavy as it's going to be because it's flowers so it may aesthetically look like it but really you know just don't take on any any responsibility that's not yours or over like burden or obligate yourself yeah that's why something about tulips okay tulips yeah okay so what's better than roses on a piano tulips on an organ yay <laughs> go all right here you go listen yeah oh, so you might have to walk away from something here because it's good somebody's trying listen there could be an energy here where somebody's going to tell you some kind of truth. They're going to try to burden you down with something or over-obligate you or make you, you know, don't do it. You need to walk away. Something about ladybugs. Again, yellow could be of very uh, large significance here. Something about yellow. The Eight of Cups is when you're not fulfilled emotionally and you need to go search for your truth. You leave behind what doesn't serve you anymore and you move ahead. Okay, so this is why. Somebody might be telling you that they're moving ahead here and uh, it might cause a lot of conflict and feel like the weight of the world's on your shoulders. You've got a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is somebody who's loving, caring, and kind. A supportive leader. Somebody who's tolerant, okay? Somebody who's emotionally mature and available. They're going to bring some kind of fairness and balance into your life. Some of you might have some kind of a legal situation. We have an Aries energy. 
So somebody's taking the lead here, some kind of assertive action. It could have to do with some finances because there is a king of pentacles and you and somebody are going to feel the same way about each other. It is a new emotional awakening, Cancer. Now, let's get to the T. You have Leo as the most predominant and Aries, but it could be any signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. By the way, thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We see you, acknowledge you, and we are so very grateful for your presence. We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every form possible to infinity and beyond. All right? Here we go. Um, you have 888. Let's remove the negativity. We're also going to do 111. 111 megahertz, 111 hertz. This is the divine frequency. While we're on the subject, claim for your healing sound bath in the back. Ran it set at 432 megahertz. For our root chakra, because we're grounding and balancing. This relieves all forms of negativity, stress, and anxiety. Helps you relax, okay? Helps you feel solid. Solid as a rock. It enhances your security and your instincts, your survival instincts, your animal instincts, right? It's about self-preservation. The mantra is, I am, I am, I am, I am the shit, right? And the element is earth. The color would be red. So any red jasper, carnelian, a bloodstone, a ruby, yeah, black, yeah, black tourmaline perhaps. Give me the T. Here we go. The T for you is romantic love affair. Ooh, somebody's got a booty call or a hookup. There's a secret lover. Somebody's getting a sex fix. Nice. Okay, here we go. There's a wolf in sheep's clothing hanging around, so be mindful of that. Somebody might have like a, a Malamute or Alaskan Husky here. Okay, something about whales. Maybe somebody's going to the aquarium or... Here we go. You got a groupie. That could be the wolf in sheep's clothing, right? Somebody wants to be just like you. That's it. Somebody's taking screenshots to try to get some kind of proof. If you've got a secret lover, keep... you better be careful. All right. Something ain't shit, Cancer. Let's get you the kippers. Cancer. Somebody likes to play chess here or checkers. I'm seeing a red and white checkered tablecloth in an Italian restaurant. I'm here with spaghetti parmesan. I'm here with, no. What am I hearing? I'm here with chicken cutlet parmesan and spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti parmesan. What the fuck is that? I don't know, but okay, let's keep going. Here we go. Maybe it's something spaghetti with melted mozzarella. I don't know. Somebody's the main character. Number one could be of significance. There goes Tiberius. I'm gonna go outside and strangle him. Somebody might get some sad news here. 14 could be of significance, or 41 the fifth. <coughs> Someone could be 42 here. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody holds somebody in high honor. 25th could be of significance, or the number seven. All right. In Brooklyn, that means you have some respect for somebody. Somebody's dishonest. That's that wolf in sheep's clothing. The eighth could be of significance. Somebody might be imprisoned in their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions. Maybe even straight up three hots and a cot cancer. Here you go. This is letters for you, my dears. You have something in a week. Something's going to transpire in a week. That's what I'm hearing. All right. Here we go. I just keep hearing a week, a week, a week. A week, a week, a week. You have two E's. A, E, I. O. <coughs> I don't know why I'm choking all of a sudden out of nowhere. You got W, W. Somebody might be on Weight Watchers. You got QFZ. Two A's, three E's, I, O, and a blank. Close the energy. Thank you very much. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, Cancer, love, light, and laughter.